Hi, budding structural engineers. Welcome to the structural engineering lectures on uh, limit state design of steel structures, conforming to Indian standard IS 800 2007, general construction in steel code of practice. The other day we have discussed uh, what is the use of this steel, where this steel can be used, and what are the chemical compositions of the structural steel. Now in today's class we shall see the physical properties of these structural steel conforming to IS 800 2007 as well as as well as the uh, geometrical properties as well as structural properties conforming to SP 61 1964 the handbook for structural engineers structural steel sections right now let us uh, move to the discussions on the um, IS 800 physical property students, right? This is how the physical properties uh, of the structural steel, irrespective of its grade, shall be taken as the unit mass of the steel density, right? Mass density rho or gamma shall be taken as 7850 kiloton per meter cube or is approximately 78.5 kiloton per meter cube and modulus of elasticity E Young's modulus modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus E is equal to 210 to power 5 Newton per mm square or it is 210 mega pascals right uh, uh, 210 to power 5 Newton per mm square right and uh, sorry 210 giga pascals sorry right 210 giga pascals or 210 to power 5 mega pascals right then Poisson's ratio mu is equal to 0.3 and modulus of rigidity or shear modulus notated by G is equal to 0 0.769 10 to power 5 Newton per mm square or mega Pascals and coefficient of thermal or linear expansion alpha notated by alpha 12 and 10 to power minus 6 per degree centigrade right the other day we have already seen these mechanical properties tensile properties tensile properties already now let us move to how to how to uh, make use of how to make use of the is is uh, uh, sorry indian standard sp61 for making note of the structural steel properties for different structural steel sections let us discuss that now let us move to that discussion students so let us see the different rolled steel sections like like the students right structural steel shapes this is how the uh, i section i beam right i beam or wide flying i beam or the channel sections channel sections uh, or i section right the channel section the angle section the angle section the t indian standard t sections t sections right and these are the solid sections solid square bar or solid rectangular bar as as solid so circular bar or hexagonal uh, solid bar or indian standard plate ispl section or these are the hollow sections, hollow tube, right? Uh, round tube, ISRO, round tube, or ISH, Indian uh, standard, uh, sorry, is a CHS, uh, um, SHS, square hollow section, or RHS, RHS, rectangular hollow section. This is CHSS, CHS, circular hollow section, or we may be also having cold formed sections such as the lipid sections right lipid channel section or lipid per, uh, z perlin section right as shown here right let us uh, see the uh, geometrical properties geometrical properties conforming to sp61 i see the different uh, sections right this is how the uh, different uh, sections indian standard flat indian uh, standard angle isa Indian standard flat uh, ISRO, Indian standard round bar, hexagonal bars, or sheets and plates ISPL, uh, or Indian standard channels IS, um, uh, C, Indian standard channel sections, right? Indian standard beam sections ISMB, ISWP, etc. Or uh, these are of wide flange, these are of normal standard uh, flanges, right? Indian standard beam sections, right? Indian standard um, these. Uh, square or rectangular tubes, hollow hollow sections, right? Or hollow um, round tubes, round tubes, or Indian standard T sections, 
right or half round sections or half oval sections or chamfered sections or rebar sections right now like this now i am showing the indian standard i beam section i beam section which is actually is a welded using the plates right this is a web which is welded to the uh, flange this is compression flange this is the tension flange which is welded right even a bigger section you can see right whereas now let us see this is indian standard channel section this is how the root radius this is how the uh, radius at a toe this is how that root radius and root, uh, radius at a toe that is how the flange thickness is varying from the end to the top the intersection of flange with web right with the root radius r1 and here the root radius r2 right this is of that uh, web part this is of compression and uh, tension flange now if the same uh, channel section is made up of the indian uh, standard uh, uh, plates right that is of a compression flange plate a tension flange plate welded to the web web that is of a plated plated uh, channel section this is of plated i beam section plated i beam section right like that uh, you can please now see that uh, this is a indian standard roll steel um, equal angle section e uh, right uh, equal angle section right and this is a uh, unequal angle section right this is a uh, root radius r1 and radius is to r2 r2 unequal right this leg is smaller and this leg is longer right whereas this is the uh, angle section made with uh, plate plates with means of the welds welds right like that uh, now i do have indian standard uh, uh, t sections right isnt rist etc right that is how it is uh, a welded t section welded t section right in the uh, length direction L likewise i may be having the hollow sections right this is a uh, uh, round round chs circular hollow section right this is a shs right um, square hollow section r square hollow section right square hollow section whereas this is rhs rectangular hollow sections hollow section the advantage of this that they will be uh, light in weight light in weight right that is how the advantage now let us see the uh, uh, stru structural steel uh, properties using sp61 sp61 right now using that section a let us see uh, the discussions that discussions on the types of rolled steel sections types of rolled steel sections what are available in code book right now let us see the very first discussion uh, as per this uh, uh, is as per this sp 6 1964 handbook for structural engineers handbook for structural engineers now uh, let us see these are uh, what called the beam section students right we do have uh, a beam section notated uh, like this as uh, i beam section which resembles uh, shape i i right for this part is what called the flange its width is uh, notated by bf and its thickness is notated by tf right tf right and uh, we do have this uh, vertical part which is referred to as the web web and its thickness is tw tw and at the intersection of this uh, web with the top the flange we do have a curved curved part like this right therefore at that intersection this is what called radius at root radius at root rotated by r1 and also also the um, flange is not of uniform thickness right slowly the thickness vary from root radius to the radius at the toe at the end there is a ra radius at the toe right this uh, will be there so so as to avoid so as to avoid injury to the persons in the vicinity now even you can see that there is there is a, a radius at the toe radius at toe even at uh, root radius root radius right like this right so as to avoid injury to the persons in the vicinity while working with these sections right now this is what called radius at toe rotated by r2 right and um, 
let me let me go back to the sp S, this is how sp6 which deals with the sexual steel section students right that is how uh, it deals with the sexual shapes and other uh, uh, steel products such as um, rolled steel beams rolled steel channels rolled steel equal angles rolled steel unequal angle sections rolled steel bulb angles rolled steel t bars and plates sheets and strips mild steel flats and bars these are the uh, primary primary members for which all the structural properties are given even we do have in the section b the beams channels and compound sections used as girders used as girders right that we will see that right uh, and section c deals with angles single or double angles used as struts and ties ties and section d deals with the beams channels and other compound sections used as columns columns right that is how the different four sections deals with the different uh, um, aspects of the structural uh, uh, parameters these are the different symbols which are used in this sp61 i think i'll not go with each of these specification student you may just go through these um, uh, notation parts notation parts elaborately right now let us examine uh, the first section as per this table one i would have rolled steel beam section student that's now uh, just now shown that this is this part is what called the flange part and its uh, width is given by small b and the thickness of this is given by thickness of flange tf and this vertical part is what called the web web and its thickness is notated by small tw small tw and its depth is given by small h small h right and uh, the um, root radius just now we have discussed root radius r1 and radius at a toe r2 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 right that is how the different values of these parameters for different uh, designations of the rolled steel beam sections right are available in steel tables or structural engineers handbook one now let us see what are these designations first one isjb indian standard junior beams that is how the designation 150 stands for this depth of this section h 150 stands for the depth of the section this depth of the section 150 depth of the section h in terms of mm right therefore once i know this uh, section uh, designation or specification isjb 150 of depth 150 then uh, the specification the first specification is weight per unit length so many 7.1 kg per 1 meter length for 1 meter length 7.1 is the weight of that beam section and what is the sectional area in terms of centimeter square right 9.01 centimeter square and its depth in mm is 150 mm and width of the flange this b is 50 mm and thickness of the flange this thickness of the flange is 4.6 mm and the thickness of this web is 3 mm 3 mm right and the movement of inertia about the longitudinal axis of the bending longitudinal axis of the bending about major longitudinal axis of the bending ixx horizontal axis is 322.1 centimeter to the power 4 right whereas that is about the major axis whereas about weak or minor axis weak or minor axis about which the buckling of these sections can happen right is notated by iyy which is 9.2 centimeter to the power 4 you can Compare this 9.2 with that of this 332 of the same section means this is so so weak about this y-axis just uh, 9 divided by 332 9 divided by 332 means approximately 1 by 30 approximately 1 by 1 by 30 uh, 1 by 33 1 by 33 right 0 0.03 0 0.03 only that much of weak that much of weakness is there about that yy axis in terms of moment of inertia in terms of stiffness in terms of flexural stiffness i is generally ei is referred to as flexural rigidity for bending 
in bending that is referred to as flexural rigidity or flexural stiffness. Therefore, that I Y Y is very less compared to that of I X X about strong axis. Similarly, the radius of variation R X X about strong axis 5.98 centimeter, whereas about weak axis it is 1.01. Once I see that even other properties, what are those, right? For the same I S J B 150, the section modulus about the major axis of bending 42.9 centimeter uh, cube and about minor axis 3.7 centimeter cube even now you can see there is a marked difference 3.7 divided by 42.9 42.9 almost approximately 1 by no 1 by um, 1, uh, 1 by uh, 11 approximately 1 by 11 right or 1 by 12 right therefore that is a or approximately 0.08 0.07 to 0.08 only right and radius at root r1 here r1 is 5 mm and radius at toe this part this part is 1.5 mm uh, similarly the slope of this angle d d is 91.5 degrees this one this angle this angle is 91 generally it is presumed to be 90 degrees 90 degrees like this but uh, here it is having a varying thickness of the flange therefore that d that d is 91.5 degrees 91.5 degrees right and the other connection details are also given students right what should be this h1 means from the end of this uh, root uh, 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 root radius to the root radius means pure vertical pure vertical part of this web rotated by h1 and h2 h2 means from bottom of from bottom of this flange up to the end of, end of this curved root radius right this part right h2 and b1 b1 c c right and g g and as means where these if at all if you want to drive the holes if you want to drive the holes like this right what should be the a distance between these holes in the flange like this right this center to center distance is what referred to as g g right that is of g and g1 g1 if at all you are connecting a, a secondary beam uh, by means of another uh, angle or as appropriate where the rivet or bolt should be connected the distance of g1 right that g1 is also given minimum right and the maximum size of the flange rivet is 6 mm for that right there is a indian standard junior beam 150 likewise we do have indian ihjb varying from 150 175 200 225 right then indian standard uh, lightweight beams lightweight beams these are junior beams right lightweight beams right ihjb 75 100 125 150 175 200 225 250 275 300 325 350 400 450 and 500 550 600 600 right maximum depth is now 600 2 feet 600 mm or 0.6 meter indian standard lightweight beams right? generally these can be used for beam sections right even i would have indian standard medium weight beams starting from ismb 100 so on and so forth right 100 125 150 175 in steps of every 25 25 mm up to up to 250 then in step of uh, say 50s right 300 350 right up to 500 then next next 550 and up to uh, ismb 600 ismb 600 right then next we do have we do have the In next higher section as indian standard wide flange beams wide flange beams right their flanges are wider compared to that of this one right even compared to that of the previous sections their flanges are wider now you can see right there is a there is a 250 compared to that of the previous sections their the width of the flange is less the width of the flange is less right therefore these are what called indian standard wide flange beams wide flange 
beams right starting from starting from uh, what 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550. Last heaviest sections are ISWB 600 at the rate of 133.7 or next heaviest section is ISWB 600 at the rate of 145.1 kg per meter. This is the heaviest section which is furnishing the heaviest section mod, uh, movement, uh, movement of inertia about XX axis as 115626.6 centimeter to the power 4 about xx axis about yy axis 5298.3 10 to the power 4 mm to the power 4 about weak axis then i do have ishb heavy indian standard heavy beams generally ishb series will be used as a column sections as column section whereas the previous sections iswb ismb islb will be used as beam sections right Beam sections are joist sections or right, girder sections, right? That is all. These are the uh, generally used as columns, right? ISHB, heavier beams, 150, 150, 200, 225, 300, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. Up to, up to, we do have, we do have 450. The uh, last one is ISHB 450, ISHB 450, right? That is how the Indian standard beam section students. Now, once we see, let us see these other sections at a quicker pace. These are Indian standard uh, channel sections resembling C, shape C, right? C, that. Uh, that is how uh, the uh, compression flange, right? Attention flange. Just now we have seen the notations, right? Uh, even that. Uh, uh, designation also we have seen J for junior, right? ISJC Indian Standard Junior Channels of 100. 100 means 100 is a depth and other properties. You can just now note down from the steel tables. And uh, like that, ISJC 100, 125, 150, 175, 200 in shapes of every 25 25 mm. Then Indian Standard Lightweight Channels ISLC 75, 100, 125 dash dash up to up to 400. Then next one is Indian standard medium channels starting from 75 dash dash up to 400, 400, 400, right? Even other, um, other, other, uh, right? That is how the heaviest, heaviest section is Indian standard medium, medium weight channels. 400 is the heaviest channel section which can be available as per Indian standards steel tables right the next one is that is like this right um, rolled steel equal angle sections means right there is a both legs connected leg as well as outstanding leg both are of same same uh, width same width like this right then uh, notated by Indian ISA 2020 Right, lowest section is ISA means Indian standard angle equal angle 20 connected leg 20 A as well as B both are 20 20 20 by 20 and you can see the thickness of the leg as 3 or 4 in two thicknesses these are available right then sectional areas 1.12 centimeter square or 1.45 centimeter square and weight per unit length 0.9 or 1.1 and the uh, center of gravity cxx cyy right cxx cyy right from this vertical axis right these are uh, these can be subjected to asymmetrical bending students therefore center of gravity cxx uh, this cxx and cyy here at this cg right therefore this is a uh, at a distance of 0.59 and 0.63 respectively for these two sections and uh, distance of this extreme fiber EXX and EYY in terms of centimeters is 1.41 right? As this can be subjected to asymmetrical bending students, not only we do have the major axis of the bending XX and minor axis of the bending YY, but we do have the major, uh, sorry, uh, uh, major principle direction UU and minor principle direction VV, right? Major principle direction UU, minor principle direction VV. Right, VV also. Generally, the uh, radius of variation about the 
vv direction are always less right that is how you can see that the moment of inertia of this isa 20 by 20 is 0.4 about ixx as well as iyy but about uv axis 0.6 whereas about vv axis just 0.2 therefore it is weak about that minor principal axis hence uh, even we can see rxx ryy both are 0.58 0.58 cm but uh, ruu is 0.73 it is good but uh, rvv is very less 0.37 hence these are subjected to asymmetrical bending asymmetrical bending the section modulus is 0.3 and root radius r1 r1 is only r1 is only there here right uh, of 4 and as well as r2 the radius at a toe r2 right and product of inertia ixy is also given 0 0.2 0 0.3 like that we can see isa 20 by 20 dash dash right isa um, 25 by 25 30 by 30 35 by 35 40 by 40 45 by 45 in every step of 5 5 mm 50 by 50 55 by 55 right 60 by 60 65 by 65 like that. every step of 5 5 mm at 70, 75, 80, 90, then in steps of 10, 10, 10, 90, um, 10, 10 mm steps, 100 by 100, 110, then 130, then uh, in a step of 20, in a step of 20, 150 by 150, then in a step of uh, 50 mm, I say 200 by 200, 200 by 200, right? That is how the uh, Indian standard equal angle sections. The heaviest section is ISA 200 by 200, means 200 by 200, right? Now, once I see that student, even now I can see rolled steel, unequal angle sections. What now uh, showing is unequal angle section, right? This B is less compared to that of this A. A is more, right? Let us say the first one, ISA 30. This dimension is 30, whereas this dimension is 20, right? We can note down the uh, um, properties, right? Here the advantage of this uh, 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 unequal angle sections is that this longer leg can be used for connecting to the gusset plate whereas this smaller smaller leg can be there as an outstanding leg outstanding leg right generally uh, there are the restrictions on the outstanding uh, lengths as per the IS 800 also we will see that in the other discussion student like that now we do have ISA unequal angle sections 30 by 20 40 by 25 45 by 30, 50 by 30, 60 by 40, 65 by 45, 70 by 45, 75 by 50, 80 by 50, right? 80 by 50 is there available in four thicknesses, 5, 6, 8, 10. Correspondingly, their properties you can see, right? Like that, we do have the other, other uh, unequal angle sections as 90 by 60, 100 by 65, 100 by 75, 125 by 75, 125 by 95, 100 by... 75, 150 by 115, 200 by 100, 200 by 150, 200 by 150. That is how uh, unequal angle sections. The highest highest section is uh, ESA one, uh, 200 by 150, 200 by 150. Next, even we can have the rolled steel bulb angle sections, right? Sometimes uh, now I am showing this section, student, right? Where we can have a bulb like this a bulb like this right a bulb what i'm showing here this is a still uh, still bulb angle section right this is how a bulb is there bulb is there right but that bulb can be used for uh, specific purposes right like this for making some connection or as appropriate making some connection or as appropriate right now you will see that right that is how there um, uh, they are designated as ISBA, Indian Standard Bulb Angles, bulb angles as 100. 100 means 100 is this depth H, 100 is this depth H, whereas the width of this flange is notated by small b. Therefore, ISBA is having a depth of 100 mm and its width of the flange is 65. And you can note down the relevant properties, right? That is how I do have Indian Standard Bulb Angles 100, 125. 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300. 300 is the maximum. 300 is the maximum uh, section that is available. Right? Uh, right? Then, I do have the 
rolled steel T bars like this, right? This is what uh, the flange of this T bar having a width of V, and this is that web web having a depth of H, right? Like this, right? Like this, right? Therefore, I do have Indian standard normal T N for normal T of 20. What is that? 20 means 20 means the depth of that section is 20. ISNT Indian standard normal T 20 at, at the rate of 0.9 kg per meter. 0.9 kg per meter. Now you can note down the relevant properties for that section, right? Like that, I do have ISNT 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100. Then next 150. Then next Indian standard heavy T sections 75, right? Heavy T section ISHT 75 at the rate of 15.3 kg per meter or 100, 125, 150. Or next one is Indian standard Indian standard standard T's standard, right? ST ISST 100, 150, 200 dash dash up to 250 or ISLT Indian standard lightweight T's. 50, 75, 100, right? 100. Or even we do have Indian standard junior T beams, uh, sorry, junior T sections, junior T sections, ISJT, 75, 87.5, 100, 112.5, 112.5. Therefore, that is how you can note down the relevant property students uh, of these sections, these sections. Then immediately we do have the Indian standard plates, Indian standard plates like this, right? Therefore, what is the width of that plate? Width of the plate 900, 1 meter, so on and so forth, up to 2.5 meter, 2.5 meter. Whereas, what is the length? Length is in terms of mm, right? Either 2000 mm, 2.2 meter, right? Or as appropriate, like this, right? right? That is how the width, width 900. 900, 1,000, uh, 1,100, so on and so forth, up to 2.5 meter. Whereas the length, uh, starting from 2 meter to 2.2 meter, uh, 2.5 meter dash 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 up to 12.5 meter, 12.5 meter. These are the different sections which are available, right? For each of these, what is that uh, surface area? It is given. Let us say uh, a length of 2 meter with uh, uh, 0.9 meter width. Its surface area is equal to you already know, 0.9 multiplied by 2, 1.8. That is already self-known, right? Self-explanatory, right? That is on, uh, 2 multiplied by 0 0.9, 1.8 meter square. Now let us see, uh, what are their weights? If I have 5 mm thick plate, this thickness of the plate is 5 mm. 5 mm, thickness is equal to 5 mm. Then what are the weights, right? Of length 2 meter with a width of 0.9. Therefore, that multiplied by its thickness. Now I'll get... Uh, uh, dense uh, volume of the material is available that multiplied by the density of the material as per IS 800 uh, 2007 7850 kg if I multiply that now I will get 70.6 kgs these are in terms of kgs right these are in terms of kgs right weight in terms of kgs right that is how I will get 2 multiplied by 0.9 multiplied by 0 0.005 0 0.005 so many meter cube multiplied to 78.50 that gives 70.6 kg kg likewise even you can note down for other lengths and other breadths what are the weights for 5 mm thick, thickness and next one is for 6 mm plates 6 mm plates and 8 mm plates 8 mm plates and so on and so forth for say 10 mm plates 10 mm plates and 12 mm plates next uh, 14 mm plates, uh, 16 mm plates, uh, likewise we do have uh, 18 mm plates, 20 mm plates, 20 mm plates, 22 mm plates, 25 mm plates, 28 mm plates, 32 mm plates, 36 mm plates, 40 mm plates, 45 mm plates and uh, 50, 50 mm plates even uh, after 50, we would have 50, uh, 40, uh, 45, 50, 56, 63. Last one is 63. Now you can see in some uh, widths, these lengths are not available, right? 
these are not available. These dashes indicate that these are not available in these widths of these lengths. These are not available due to practical reason of transportability. We cannot transport that, right? Next one is the sheets and strips, right? Like this, right? The sheets and strips, right? Then uh, a, uh, the size of these sheets of 1.8 by 0.6 or 1800 by 600 600 width the uh, standard thicknesses standard thicknesses of 0.4 mm 0.5 mm so on and so forth 1.4 mm right standard sheets standard sheets are strips like this strips strips right 1.8 by 0.6 with uh, 0.4 to 1.4 thick right Likewise, you can see 1.8 by 750, 900, 1 meter, 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.25, 1 1.4, 1 1.5 meter. Like that, 2 meter is along with a width of 0 0.6, 0 0.75, 0 0.9, 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1.25, 1 1.4, 1 1.5. Likewise, you can see 2.2 meter length as well as 2.5 meter length is available. And, and 1.8 meter 2, 2 meter 2.2 2.5 meter 2.8 meter 3.2 meter 3.6 meter 4 meter 4 meter these are the uh, different uh, different uh, size of the sheets students and their weights and their weights along with the other properties their weights their weights now uh, once we see that uh, now let us see what are the uh, strips, Indian standard uh, strips, right? Um, what is that? This is of the strip, right? The width, the width is equal to 100 mm and its thickness either 1.6 or 1.8, so on and so forth up to 3.15. 3.15. Therefore, what are the weights, right? 1.3, 1.4 digest up to 2.5. Indian standard. Uh, strips in the standard strips right i think uh, uh, that is all the different uh, widths of 100 125 160 200 250 uh, uh, 320 400 500 uh, 650 800 950 1.05 1.15 1.25 1.3 1.45 1.55 1.55 then lastly you will see Indian standard flats like this, right? The I notated by ISF, right? Means 10 ISF 3 means 10, 10 is the width of this flat, flat 3 is the thickness of this flat, right? 10 ISF 3 means 10 is the width and 3 is the thickness, right? That is all in different widths and different thicknesses varying from 3 to 12 mm, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 200, 250, 300, 400, 400. So wherever there is a dash, those sections with that thicknesses are not available. Now, for example, here 65 is only available starting from starting from 6 mm thick only. And these are not available in 3, 4, 5 mm thicknesses. That's the meaning of the dash, the dash. There is a uh, Indian standard flats, Indian standard flats, and their uh, weights in terms of kgs, in terms of kgs. I think uh, uh, even once we see that, uh, even we do have the other uh, properties as Indian standard bars given by ISRO, Indian standard round, RO for round bars of designation 5. 5 means the diameter, diameter of that bar, RO5, right? What is the cross sectional area of 0.2 centimeter square and what is the weight per unit length 0.2 and what is the perimeter, perimeter is uh, 1.6 cent, 1 centimeter or 16 mm. Like that, we do have the diameters starting from 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, 25, 28, 32, 36, 40, 45, 50, 56, 63, 71, 80, 90, 100. 110, 125, 140, 160, 180, maximum is 200, 200 mm, 200 mm thick, right? 
Whereas similarly, we do have square bars, square bars notated by ISSQ, SQ for square, Indian Standard Square Bars. Uh, the bar width is given here as phi, ISSQ phi, right? That is how the cross-sectional cross -sectional, uh, area, 0.25 cm square or 25 mm square and weight per unit length, 0.2 kg per meter and perimeter perimeter along the uh, periphery 2 cm like that I do have ISSQ 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, 25, 32, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, 100 right that is how the section A deals with the different sections the different sections I think we will discuss the other discussions in the next class such as the other uh, properties as per this IS, IS uh, uh, 800 as well as IS uh, uh, SP61 in the next class students right um, I hope you understood these discussions right if you like these discussions on our YouTube you try to click like share subscribe to our youtube channel as well as turn on the video notifications and as well as comment right we'll meet with another discussion in the next class students till then bye bye students